What does your crazy neighbor do to be labeled a crazy neighbor? Threaten to put giant signs across the wooded border between our properties if my other neighbor got into another border dispute with him. This was after stopping my excavator from doing his job, finished grading the lot so we could plant grass, and threatening him if he got over the property line. He was 50 feet away from it and not taking down any trees. He finished his rant and left without ever introducing himself. When he's not complaining to the cops about my neighbor, he's doing everything legally possible to annoy the cops themselves. I had a neighbor who would sneak into my yard at night and roll up my sod. It would be laid perfectly the night before, but I'd get up in the morning and it would be rolled up just like it was when it came from the store. I finally got pee and spent the night laying by my back door with a baseball bat and a flashlight, ready to bonk the crap out of whoever it was. Sure enough, they came around 2 in the morning, and I stood up, turned the light on, and was face to face with 4 raccoons rolling up my sod, looking for bugs. He was hopping my fence during the day when I was gone at work to use my backyard pool. When confronted, thanks to a snitch neighbor, he claimed he had an agreement with a previous tenant that he could use the pool whenever he wanted. Guess what? I'm not the tenant. I have a bunch of security cameras now. I was dog sitting, probably about 16 years old. My neighbor charged into the house while I was there with a gun pointing it at my head and while on the phone with the owners of the dog claiming there's an intruder real life ain't call of duty. I remember you Daniel. Frick you. Seriously. Had a neighbor who wouldn't let anyone use his driveway because he didn't want it to get dirty, anyone including himself. He parked on the street outside. If he thought you were having a party he would drag a bunch of plastic bags full of god knows what to the end of his driveway so no one could turn around it. One time I came home and he was outside hosing it down in the rain. To his credit, I've never seen a cleaner driveway. Our neighbor would leaf blow during a windstorm. It wasn't autumn so there weren't any leaves on the ground, just some other debris. Used to live in a little town of 300 people where we had an elderly neighbor named Gladys. She would routinely look near our garbage can outside and take the recyclable bottles and cans we would leave for her. After we cleaned out a fish tank, we put the gravel and fake plants in a bag and left it on top of the garbage can because it was already full. About a week later, Gladys hollered at me while I was outside to come over as she wanted to show me something. She had taken that bag we had left and planted the fake plants along the side of her house. She said she wasn't real confident that they would make it but so far they seem to be thriving. I could only nod and compliment her on her green thumb. Better than me who just did the opposite. Moved my daughter out of college and stuffed her plastic succulents into a box. Weeks later she asked where the plants were so she could water them. But they actually survived. Tough little things. My neighbor sits in his yard, hides behind his plants and meows at people who pass by. He is not dangerous at all but he is not right in the head either. His caretakers are his parents and they seem to be very nice people. His dad once told me he just likes to be a cat and left it at that. I didn't ask any more questions. I would also like to be a cat so I see no issue with this. She has a penchant for going around sticking nails in people's tires at night. This has happened dozens of times to nearly everyone on the street, though she's slowed down since more people started installing video cams and motion sensor lights in their driveways. Years ago we had a guy in our neighborhood like this. He stopped hitting our house when my crazy butt mother came flying out the house around 3am with her baseball bat. He eats my flowers. In his defense, he told us that he has been doing it for years when he introduced himself after we bought the house. He also brought over frozen cookies in a plastic bag, as a housewarming gift, but wasn't sure what was in them. We share a side yard and as he was talking to us, I noticed his all brick house, was actually roofing shingles, layered to look like brick. It started to register that he may be a little out there, he's a great neighbor, just an older, eccentric stoner who keeps to himself and eats my flowers. No shame, comes over to my yard, and eats my lilies raw or bring scissors and clips the heads to boil and make jam. It's crazy to me, but we have embraced it. I planted a couple raspberry, blackberry, and blueberry bushes three years ago, when we first moved in, on the side yard we share, as well as a few knockout rose bushes. I told him to help himself to berries roses anytime, 
Especially before the birds do. The bushes have all gone insane and the entire side of my house is now a yearly buffet for my neighbor. Having a decent relationship with a crazy guy I share a property line with is worth some deadheaded flowers. Your neighbor might be part goat. We had one a while back that had a rim lab in the home. Crazy fights, yelling at all hours of the night, dude would wander around the hood tweaked out crazy, and once he threw a Molotov cocktail out of the second floor window at another dude who was smashing up his car, screaming, I'll freaking kill you. Mother those were interesting times. Pulled us over pretending to be a police officer, saying that we had somehow broken the law whilst pulling out of our driveway and that she was going to call it in. She isn't a cop lol. Pretty sure that's a crime. Well, I used to have a neighbor who was legitimately mentally ill, although I don't know his actual diagnosis. His truck wouldn't start one day, dead battery and he told everyone on the street that another neighbor was stealing the electricity. He knew this because of the way this guy parked his vehicle. Obviously it was sucking electricity from the ground for his battery, which drained the car batteries near him. Many times he would run down the street and warn everyone to hide their valuables because Japan was invading the country. He wasn't on drugs, but he did take medication for his mental illness and everyone on our street could tell when he stopped taking it. Whenever he would start saying completely irrational things, we would remind him to take his medication, and he would thank us and go home, presumably to take it. He lived alone, and he was getting older, so I think he had a hard time remembering to take it. There were many, many more incidents. ETA, thanks for the rewards. I've never gotten any before this post. I'm glad the neighbors at least cared enough to remind him to take it. He jumped in front of my car while I was driving down the road to yell at me for going through his trash at night. Told him it was probably raccoons. He refuses to believe it to this day. This is my favorite one. Instead of moving his trash or getting locking lids, he stalks your car at night to throw his body in front of it to protest your suspected raccoon-like activities. All the while, the trash pandas are in the background, having a freaking field day with his trash. I used to live in a hoa. One of the members on the board lived across the street from my neighbor and I. He sent a letter to us saying that we all have to mow the lawn on the same day, at the same cut height, and in the same pattern to create uniformity in the neighborhood. My neighbor and I intentionally cut on different days and in opposite patterns just to annoy the guy. At my last place I had a neighbor that would ray mow my lawn if my lines weren't straight enough or if I missed a spot. I'd never found out who it was but that was an incredibly fun summer. Only happened that year too. Took my parents to court because he lost an our hoa chairman election. Some people just have too much free time. Next door lady standing on her driveway yelling at me because acorns have fallen from a large oak tree on my property onto said driveway, demanding that I cause the tree to cease and desist from this intentional criminal activity. Fun fact from a law student, trees do not in fact have the legal capacity required for intent. Poisoned our dog once, I have a hedge in front of my house. When it gets trimmed and a single freaking leaf falls on her driveway, which she cleans every day, due to wind, she gets angry. One time she just let leaves blow onto her driveway. She then picked all of them up and put them in a bag, which she hung on my door, saying that it belongs to us in an angry voice. One time in 2004, my mom participated in a TV show where a singer would visit your house and a professional chef made food for you and the singer. She constantly yelled at the camera crew and tried to hit their equipment with a broom. This woman lived next to us who needed to have the police called on her at least once a week. She would scream at her roommate at all hours of the night, go into a drunken and sometimes drug filled stupor, and scream at us while tripping out as we sat in our backyard. More than once I had to kick her out of our home because she walked in unannounced, beer in hand and drunk as ever. One time I called the police because she was screaming about killing someone and rolling around on her front lawn. Another time I received a call at work, one in the morning as I work third shift. My GF informed me they had to evacuate the house because the neighbor's garage was on fire. Turned out either she or her roommate had done it while doing drugs or smoking in the garage. She ended up moving away but would still walk to our house to ask for our lawnmower. She was not happy when I told her to get off my porch. 
Years ago in rural Arizona we shared a pond with the crazy neighbor, more sad than anything. He was in his 40s and lived with his mother, around 1988. A Vietnam veteran he would walk out to our shared pond with a .45 and a box of 50 rounds. He would then absolutely unload on the pond while yelling, police his brass and walk quietly home. This happened every 90 days for about 3 years. In all likelihood, he was fighting a swamp monster that emerged every 90 days. My sister's neighbor reported my sister to the police because her kids were playing in my sister's garden. Not for the usual reasons, too much noise etc. Nope, because a volcano in Italy had erupted and the radiation would hurt them. My sister lives in the UK. Romeo, I would have loved to see the police's face when they heard the reason. I cared for an elderly woman for many years. She lived to the age of 93 in a crime ridden inner city neighborhood by being as tough and nasty as any criminal living nearby. Her oddest actions involved her incorrect belief that she owned the road in front of her house. She didn't even own a car, but she insisted that nobody park there. She would confront them if they parked in front of her house. If they did it again, she slashed their tires in the middle of the night. Over and over for years, she was never caught. But everybody knew it was her. She only stopped when she lost the physical strength to slash a tire in her mid-80s. Then she started using spray paint on the cars. He don't park in front of my house no more. Was all the justification she needed to damage her neighbor's cars. He had three little trees in his front yard and one day lemons appeared on them. We were like whoa those lemons grew so fast and on closer inspection we realized they were fake lemons. This older lady lives across the street from me and she is obsessed with leaves falling on her lawn. To the point that she will come out of her house and pick up one individual leaf off the grass in the fall, or any other time. She spends hours a day outside with the leaf blower in full. She will go and knock on other neighbors doors if she thinks you have too many leaves on your grass. She'll come over into your yard and do it yourself herself if you're not home. What I think is weird is that she's in her 70s, no kids or grandkids living with her, and lives alone in a pretty large 4 bedroom house with an amazing in ground pool in the backyard, with a slide and diving board and everything. Nobody has used that pool in at least 5 years yet she opens it up every summer. Somehow she likes my family and has never once yelled at us about our leaves and randomly brings things over like half eaten gallons of ice cream and ask if we want it because she's not using it. Sounds like she's lonely bored. The old lady who lived below me left me multiple cryptic letters blaming me for the birds chirping too loudly in the mornings. Not pet birds. The sparrows and crap outside. This went on for months. When I first moved in my neighbor walked into the house, unannounced. When my wife gets home, sometimes she wants to stay in her car having a phone conversation. He will come out and walk down the side of his house, checking his sprinkler controls and looks at my wife. He has a two huge bushes he refuses to cut. It blocks our view of backing out of our driveway. The fire department came by to clear trees and bushes around the fire hydrants. The neighbor came out and yelled at the fireman. This bush is older than you. Needless to say, I hope there are no house fires. She stalks us. Like every time I get home she'll walk outside and tell me I was either 3 minutes later getting home this time or that I'm home 2 minutes earlier and then ask me why. One time my friend and her sister came to pick me up. The neighbor was against her window with her hands and face pressed up on the glass trying to look at who was coming to pick me up. My friend and her sister were so terrified they called me telling me to hurry up bc a crazy lady was staring at them through a window. I replied oh it's just the stalker neighbor. You're that was a funny day. We bought a house and on the day while we were unloading the first truckload, the neighbor came into our garage uninvited and started telling us what trees on our property he wanted us to cut down. Not the craziest but the fucking audacity of some people. Not sure if this counts as crazy but I have this neighbor who is part of a spiritual organization called Brahma Cumaris. Every time someone in the neighborhood is going through rough times, especially deaths in the family she goes to their house and instead of offering condolences she preaches how they should join this organization and things will be better. She doesn't acknowledge anyone the rest of the time except the time when someone dies or a new family moves in the neighborhood to whom she preaches and gives books written by leaders of the organization. Yikes, it sounds like a cult. 
The adults in the family let their small, but surprisingly aggressive, dog out unleashed and without a muzzle. We live right next to a very busy road and public sidewalk and the dog will often chase children and bark at other dogs, cars, people. It's a mess and they ignore any reasoning. Funny enough, their children always have the dog on a leash and apologize if he goes after anyone. Those are good kids. Had severe anger issues and yelled at anything or anyone he didn't like on the street. A few years ago he had a road rage incident and when he started banging on the other car's windows the occupants got out and beat him badly. During this he had a heart attack and now barely has enough mobility to walk to the mailbox and back. Also he doesn't yell anymore. If you are not ready for face punches you are not ready to punch faces. We came outside one day to see him pouring bleach on the patio. Asked him what he was doing. He tells me the bugs are back. You see em. With their little wings? No bugs. I didn't have the heart to tell him. So I said you must have better eyes than me. Dude clearly has schizophrenia. Apparently he's had exterminators in 3 times in a year. I keep thinking about the kind of person that just says oh yeah I see em. That'll be $750. The neighbor behind us had a leak in his water pipe and, rather than fix it, he just had the sump pump drain it out into the backyard. This meant that all year round the back of our yard was a little bit damp. Eventually, the leaky pipe burst and filled the house with 5 feet of water. His solution to this was just to keep the pump running and flood the entire neighborhood. After about an hour, a posse of all the neighbors whose yards were being flooded confronted him and called the city to shut off the water. The city fixed the water pipe and the neighbor ended up with a large fine. At least my yard stays basically dry now. I should also mention that this neighbor once rented the house out to a bunch of sea kids and it nearly burned down because the ex-girlfriend of one of these morons snuck in and set the house on fire. I've heard way more than I need to about their health ailments and bowel movements. One night I'm in the backyard sitting in lawn chairs watching the stars with the wife when she pops out with a flashlight in our faces. I went off. What the fucking heck are you doing? She apologized and left with no explanation. I could go on. But then I may start thinking about moving again. I'm sorry but what the frick. Ours is the classic retired old man. Terrible health and literally nothing going on in his life. He's not married, and I try to stay out of everyone's business, but I don't believe he has any kids. Rarely has visitors. I think he had a dream once of being a police officer but never quite made it. So he's taken it upon himself to be the neighborhood police person. He spies on everyone and makes it his business to know everything. My favorite encounter was catching him literally camping out in my front yard bushes early morning, spying on neighbors a few doors down. He had a coffee mug, notepad, blanket, literally just hanging out in my front yard making notes about the weird folks who were likely doing drugs at home. When I asked him what he was doing, he just didn't seem to understand that it was inappropriate. He seems to like us so it's nice, I guess, but he creeps me out. Called the police on people parked perfectly legal in front of their house. Took pictures of my partner's dad just working in the yard. Disappeared suddenly without a trace and then suddenly come back home in the dead of night 8 months later. Weirdos. That. Sounds a lot like jail. Quite possibly for stalking. My neighbor moved onto a plot of land that is not his, but claims it's his family's. Moved a bunch of trash onto the land. Came over to my house and demanded my husband and I allow him to use our private road and our utilities. We said no. We farm 20 acres of our land which happens to be located around the plot he lives on. Long story short he started trying to sabotage our land and our farmers. He would post videos to Facebook saying our farmers were harassing him. Then one day the neighbor got two friends of his to come and attack our farmer. Which resulted in his friend's death. A neighbor fled the scene and ended up in a neighboring state. He was summoned by the police to come and clean up his property within 30 days. He came back for one day, and the one day he was back his trailer mysteriously caught on fire and burnt down. Neighbor ended up fleeing again, until he was subpoenaed into court for the death of the other guy. For reference, the neighbor has a rap sheet about 12 pages long, including burglary, touching children, abusing his ex, stalking, emus, etc. And so did his friend who got killed. Sad he got killed because he was pulled into his friend's stupid mess. As his friend was dying on the ground, 
My neighbor had the decency to pull out his phone and go on Facebook live. No attempts to aid his friend or anything. Meanwhile the farmer was on the ground putting pressure on the wound and bawling his eyes out. Before I moved out of my parents place, the neighbor on the other side of the backyard fence was always doing crazy crap. He'd be practicing shooting his BB gun down his yard, at the fence, while my dad was doing yard work just on the other side of it, or in the middle of the yard, or just minding his own business, really. My dad and I got absolutely p one time because our neighbor decided to try practicing with a .22 rifle while my dad was outside with our German Shepherd. There were two instances where the neighbor trapped two skunks, on separate occasions, in a live animal trap, killed them himself then threw their bodies over the fence to stink up the entire yard and neighborhood. By extension, he then tried to tell the neighbors that it was my parents fault. My dad simply cleaned up the messes, disposed of the skunk remains properly, then told the neighbors the truth of the matter before the wacko managed to. It helped in our defense that our other neighbors already viewed the guy as the crazy neighbor. My dad also invested in a camera system and set it up on the shed just by the fence. Oh well. The neighbor's dead now. Heart attack or some crap. I forgot what my dad said, and his yard has become a huge mess and I saw because his widowed wife refuses to do anything about it. He took it upon himself to mow my lawn while I was at work. My mower broke and I couldn't get it fixed. Needed to wait until next payday. Ran over a rock in my yard, damaged his mower, and asked that I pay to replace the blades. Dude I didn't even ask you to mow my lawn. Had a neighbor mow my lawn for me while my mom was on vacation and our mower was broke. I went over to thank him. He was drunk and cursed me out for being lazy for not mowing the lawn. Country boy moved to the city into the house next to mine. Landlord had done a terrible job with upkeep so the backyard was covered in dead brush and overgrowth. Country boy saw a country boy problem and employed the best country boy solution he could think of. He lit it all on fire the day he after he moved in. She calls the city on everything. Ever walk out, look at your yard and think, yep, I need to mow this weekend. That is the point where my neighbor will call the city and complain that my lawn is too long. If I park on the street she will call the cops and complain that my car is an abandoned vehicle. Even though it has current tags and is parked in front of the house it's registered too. The cops got tired of dealing with her and told me I need to park in my driveway and that I cannot park in the street or they'll tow my vehicle. If she sees my dogs outside she calls animal control and claims they're being neglected and abused. She is currently going around the neighborhood telling people that I am poisoning her cats. Which I'm apparently doing a horrible job of since the cats are healthy and very much still around. She is a truly awful person who is very much mentally unstable. She doesn't just do this to me though. Other neighbors on the block complain about the exact same thing. The cops will tow you. If you park in front of your house. Um. You need your property taxes refunded then. My guy was married but lived totally separate from his wife. She would visit every so often and he would travel to her too every now and then. Always wondered about that until I got a chance to be invited into his house. A hoarder of garage sale stuff. Dolls and just doll heads scattered around and boxes of toys. And whatever else you can imagine. Only a two foot path throughout the house. He also had a overgrown yard full of all kinds of plants. It was kind of cool looking but seeing an overgrown jungle after some years was a bit concerning. Nice guy and we would share a beer all the time. My best neighborhood friend. My parents next door neighbor Nancy, started with a no trespassing sign in the backyard that faces our yard and nothing else, set up a motion activated floodlight that faces the side of our house and nothing else, she stabbed our ball when it landed in her yard when we were children, called the cops on the neighbors because their dog barked constantly despite them not owning a dog, thinks my mother, the sweetest person you can meet in this world, is a backstabbing traitor for warning the new neighbors not to let their kids play on Nancy's lawn, verbally assaulted me for chasing deer out of our flower garden, etc. But the true Ficho moment came with the trees, we had large trees along the property line, just barely on our side, and she was starting to go all psycho about the tree is gonna fall and crush her house and demanded it be cut down. We consulted an arborist who said it did not but could use a trim that would make it impossible to fall on her yard at all. 
The entire time they were trimming she stalked the property line and screamed if anyone stepped over it. While this trim was happening a single stick fell on her lawn. She lost it, threatened to call the cops, told them they better have all their licenses up to date, etc. Arborists tried to blow her off but my mom insisted they check, sent someone to city hall and renewed their license. 30 minutes after that a cop showed up to check as Nancy had called them. Arborists were super thankful for my mom warning them. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.